Hello everyone. I have been struggling to get videos posted lately, mostly because I don't have much free time on my hands right now. But this week, I did a fun challenge with my followers on Instagram and I wanted to share it with you. So I haven't done a character design in a while, so I posted in my stories asking questions and polls each day for four days and then took those answers or prompts and made a character. Now, the first question I asked was about the climate, hot or cold? The winner was cold. By a big margin, actually. I guess people here are tired of summer. Next, I asked for a random object, and I got some really random ones. I didn't get two that were the same or similar, so I found a random number generator and input the numbers and had it spit out a number for me. And so the winner for that one was a tiny jar. Next, I asked everyone to pick an animal. I could only do two answers per poll, so I thought people would only vote for one out of the six, but I guess I didn't word the instructions very well. And I was worried that I would get a three-way tie, but no worries, we still got a winner, and the winner was Fox. Lastly, I asked for people to slide this little scale and tell me how happy or grumpy slash sad the character should be. There were a few who wanted him really grumpy, but most people wanted him relatively happy. Once I got all my answers, I had to come up with a concept. I started out just wanting to do a simple character sketch with no background or scene that would only take me an hour or two, but it quickly spiraled into an eight hour long process. I'm actually happy it did though because it felt good to get caught up in an art project again even if I stayed up half the night to finish it. So this sketch was supposed to be it, only with line art and color, but I didn't like the pose, and while I was working on his design, my brain was coming up with a story for him. I wanted him to have fox-like features and the color scheme, so I went with a narrow and angular face, but not too thin. I was going to give him fox ears and a tail, but decided against that for a sash and these... things on his head. Are they ears? Hair? A hat? Who knows, I'm not going to be committal on that because I never actually decided that myself. Once I finished with that sketch, I went ahead and started another piece. Okay, so this background took me so long. I worked on this for about 75% of the piece, if not more. I don't do backgrounds all that much, or at least not rooms and buildings. It's always nature and trees and mountains and clouds, things like that. Angles and perspective are hard, but I think I figured it out and it doesn't look too bad in the end, if I do say so myself. I looked up a lot of dark academia decor and Victorian era boarding schools to get inspiration for the furniture and windows. I wanted a contrast between indoors and outdoors, so I painted a little winter scene outside the window using all blue tones and I saved the warm tones for inside. I definitely spent way too much time on details that are just covered up later, but I feel like that's a pitfall for many digital artists. I don't usually have the same problem when working with traditional mediums. It's just too easy to do when you are working digitally with layers. Also, ignore the colors until the end. I am terrible with colors in digital art because there are way too many to choose from, but I came up with a good color scheme closer to the end that is much more cohesive. This little cubby was inspired a little bit by Kamaji's wall of drawers and spirited away. I just love these storage cubbies, and I imagine that it is filled with herbs and crystals and all kinds of minerals and things he can use to encourage his plants to grow. His clothing is heavily inspired by Siberian and Mongolian traditional clothing. I thought it was perfect for giving the impression of a cold climate. I love the fur and the chunkiness of the clothing that tapers down to the hands and feet, but since he's a fox and they tend to be rather thin, I slimmed down the bulk of the clothing and put a little Renaissance Fair flair to it, because these gloves are way too long to be practical. I also gave him a pouch and little clinking bottles on his belt because you never know when you might stumble upon a struggling sapling in the frozen tundra and need to give it a little help.
Now for his story. And I always feel a little silly trying to piece together my vague ideas and make them make sense as a plot. But here goes. I imagine he's kind of a nature nurturer or guardian and he's a bit of a mad scientist when it comes to his plants. He is trying to find a way to get plants to thrive in harsher cold climates and he uses all his glowy science potions to make his plants hardier. He lives in the middle of a frozen wasteland, but inside his house is cozy and smells like a tropical rainforest. He probably finds lost travelers or explorers half frozen in the blizzard and brings them to his house and warms them up and gives them fresh fruits he grows right in his living room. But he's probably just as likely to pour them a mug of his newest potion that he's working on to see if it works as well on humans as it does on his ficus. So as I said earlier, this piece took me roughly 8 hours from start to finish. If you'd like me to post an edited real time or slightly sped up version where I pull up reference photos on screen so you can see how I utilize them and also I can go into a little bit more detail about how I use Procreate to make my digital pieces, let me know. It would be a long video, but maybe it would be useful. So my last question for everyone is what should his name be? I haven't named him yet and since this process has been in the hands of my followers and y'all haven't let me down, I figured who better to name my new original character. Leave me some name suggestions in the comments. I hope you had fun watching. I had fun making. It's probably my best digital piece that I have made in a long time and it's definitely one of my favorites. Leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see more, and follow me on my other social media to see all the other artsy things I am up to. Also, let me know if you'd like to see me do this challenge again. As always, have a great day. Bye.